Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. In this tutorial video for the Radio Master Pocket, I'm going to show you how to bind receivers to it. Now I'm going into quite in depth with the Express LRS receivers because they can be, they're not straightforward as it would be with the mode protocol module, but I will show you the settings in the radio you use to link your receivers to the mode protocol module. I've applied power to the RP2, so we're going to wait for it to go into Wi-Fi mode which takes 60 seconds roughly. Let me open my Wi-Fi on my computer. Now, if after 60 seconds the receiver won't go into Wi-Fi mode, we can force it to do that by applying the power on and off three times. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, and connect. Now you see it's double flashing, and now it should go into Wi-Fi mode after 60 seconds. So I'm going to go to my computer and just open up the Wi-Fi. There we go, we're in Wi-Fi mode. I'm going to disconnect from my home network. There we go. Now you can see the Express LRS receivers appeared. We're going to click and connect to it. And a window should open. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to put my binding phrase on first. So I'm going to pick my binding, binding phrase. I'm going to save and then reboot. So now my binding phrase should be on the receiver. So we need to wait 60 seconds and wait until the receiver goes into Wi-Fi mode and see if we can add our network settings. There we go. I'm going to click on the Wi-Fi again. I'm now going to reconnect to the receiver. There we go, another window will open. Now we can go to Wi-Fi and set home network. And that is going to be, that's my home network address. Let me just cancel that out of the way. And then I'm going to put my password in. So, and we're going to confirm. Okay, and we should be good to go now. We should have bound our receiver to our radio. Now we can test this by, you're gonna disconnect power. Let's disconnect power again. Put the power back on. We can turn our pocket radio back on. Welcome to HTX. Designed acro mode, buzzer off. And there we go. You can see the green lights come on and I'm not sure if I'll be able to, it might upset the, but we're definitely connected. The reason I've shown you two methods of doing the firmware update to your receivers is that when you first get the receiver, it may be a different firmware version than you've got on your radio. You may, radio one may be more up to date. So you're gonna to need to connect it to the computer, to its Wi-Fi connection on the computer and do it that way so that you can get your binding phrase and your Wi-Fi, home Wi-Fi SSID and password onto the receiver. Otherwise it will not bind to your radio. So that's why we do, we do that method first where we connect it directly to our computer. And once that's done, we'll be able to do it over the Wi-Fi, which makes it a lot easier. We have our receiver into bind mode by applying power three times and then connecting it. And we're going to go into our configurator. I've got the latest version. This could change. And this is so this receiver will link to our to my current radios. And you can see Radio Master 2.4 gigahertz. And I've got the RP2. I'm going to say Wi-Fi. I'm then going to put the binding phrase on. And I'm turning the Wi-Fi on. So that's the SSID and the password. Now you can see it hasn't automatically popped up here the IP address or, or the actual device. So I'm going to go manual and I'm going to put in there what the IP address of this one is, which is 236. And then we're going to click flash. And now it's flashing it over the network. So once this is done, it will connect to my radios. We 
we go you saw the LED change there we'll just wait for the warning to disappear there we go successful so I should be able to turn my radio on welcome to HTX Designed trainer off. now we'll turn off the power to reset the um, put the power back on again and there we go and the radio is connected so now let's take a look at the multi protocol module users now my radio was supplied with express lrs so all i've done i've attached a external multi protocol module to my radio now the difference is you will when you if you've got an internal module you'll just you will choose internal so let's go and have a look so we're going to go to the model key go across one to the right and then we're going to go down and you're going to see the internal and external module so you would turn on if you've got an external mod internal module the internal one i'm going to turn on the external so that it can read the profiles now yours may go straight to multi um, because it's an internal but if it, it doesn't go down until you get to multi now of course we can choose whichever protocol we want so that's the important thing especially with free sky uh, receivers is picking the right uh, protocol if it doesn't bind to it just go and get yourself uh, try, try a different one so let's click on that and all we would do is we go down and we pick whichever one we want so let's go to there we go free sky d d8 and then what you'll do you look at your instructions for your receiver and you put it in the bind mode that can mean holding the bind button down and applying power or even putting a, 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 a the old school was to use um you, you have to, to connect two of the pins on on the servo to get it to go into bind mode but just check your receiver that you've got and then you come back to once you put it in bind mode you go click here and of course there's no receiver to it to bind to and then it will beep 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 and then it should connect and you should be ready to go well, I hope you found this video useful and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to assist you if you've got a problem. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.